Welcome to the Configuring ScreenOS Firewalls introductory course. This course is designed to give you the fundamental background on the ScreenOS architecture, the applications for the firewalls, and the use of all the fundamental functions in the ScreenOS firewall objects. So at the end of this course it also prepares you to be able to pass uh, the screen OS certification exams from from Juniper so there's two objectives for this particular module the first module of the of the course uh, first we are going to review the overview of the course how it's organized and all of the objectives that will be covered in the course of doing this entire program and the second is that we'll review the Juniper certification program for the screen OS firewalls and what options you have in getting certified and being able to use the screen OS platforms. So beginning with the course outline. Their first module is of course this one, the introduction to the course objectives and the certification program. The second module will go over the overall screen OS concepts, how the architecture of the platform works, how that maps to firewalls in general, and conceptually what you need to know to be able to work correctly with all the features in screen OS. In the next module, we'll discuss the initial connectivity and the initial setup of a, of a new screen OS device, going over the management features and how to log in and begin configuration tasks. In device management, we look more specifically on all the management protocols and the configuration options that you have in taking care of your screen OS firewall. In layer 3 operations, we'll look at how IP is implemented in ScreenOS and what the functions are, are of the different conceptual objects in ScreenOS and how they function in an IP-based forwarding network. With basic policies, uh, what we discuss is how to control traffic through the firewall. Every firewall <coughs> is all about maintaining session-based traffic and controlling that, so the fundamental routine that ScreenOS accomplishes this on is policies. There are also a number of advanced policy options uh, which can help to fine-tune how the traffic through the device is handled, so those are reviewed in the policy options section. Next is address translation. A big part of what firewalls do for a living is translating uh, network address translation. Uh, there are a number of different methodologies that ScreenOS provides for address translation, both source and destination, and with or without port address translation as part of the process. The next major section is regarding VPNs. So we begin the VPN section by reviewing the concepts of the IPsec VPN and how that, uh, that standard is implemented inside the architecture of ScreenOS. Uh, the policy VPN module uh, shows the way you configure policy-based IPsec VPNs in the ScreenOS architecture. These are completely the industry standard implementation of policy VPN. In route VPN, this is an option that ScreenOS provides that not, <coughs> not all firewalls are able to do. In route-based VPNs, we can establish an IPsec VPN connectivity, but enable and run dynamic routing protocols or static routing protocols across it and not rely entirely on uh, just a single network-to-network -network SA association. It provides a lot more flexibility in trafficking uh, on a VPN-based network. The next module is on transparent mode. 
Transparent mode allows <coughs> the screen OS device to operate at layer 2. Uh, this is useful primarily for inserting a firewall in line with an existing IP network. Uh, the firewall only gets an IP address for management purposes. It sees the zones and the traffic all as a switch at layer 2. So this is a convenient method to insert firewall protection, firewall rules into, say, a public server segment where there, you don't want to do any NAT or network address translation on the public segments. But you do want to have the protection of the firewall device. And finally, there's a brief module with an introduction to IPv6 and how this is implemented on the ScreenOS platform. Uh, naturally, <coughs> IPv6 is the replacement for current uh, network traffic on uh, IP version 4 uh, and will be more widely deployed as the internet protocols are changed going forward. So in order to participate uh, in those modules, there is a certain amount of knowledge expected uh, of the student coming into this. These are the prerequisites for the program. Uh, it is assumed that the uh, candidate already has basic understanding of, of networking concepts. In particular, uh, TCP IP, uh, version 4, the current major implementation, should be fairly well understood as is subnetting uh, and the other major concepts of IP like CIDR notation. Uh, the basic concepts involved in routing um, and forwarding traffic on an IP network should be understood. And finally bridging and switching uh, at layer 2 in an Ethernet network should be understood by the candidates. Uh, if these are areas you want to review, there is a, a link in the course material to go to the Network Fundamentals course, uh, which is a free online module that can review these concepts for you and make sure everything's up to speed. Related documentation. Uh, if uh, you purchased the uh, courseware for for this course. There is a full lab guide with, with full instructions. Uh, there's some short versions that'll be available for download on the, on the course site. Uh, but in this particular course, the, the lab is not uh, generated and available. So you'll be, uh, in a, to a degree on your own, in creating an environment to do the test, uh, testing the material on the actual devices. The screen OS manuals will go into more detail on all of the functions we talk about here and available for download. With each lesson, I've extracted uh, the relevant portions of the documentation in a short form. And of course, there's a link to the main documentation page so you can get the full copy of the manual uh, at any time. Uh, there are a couple of books that are available uh, on the ScreenOS architecture, Configuring NetScreen Firewalls from uh, Syngress Press and uh, by Cameron is a great introduction uh, to the ScreenOS platform and uh, is widely available on uh, online booksellers. This is a soup to nuts introduction uh, from IP concepts all the way up through most of the functions on uh, screen OS. It's uh, a little bit dated, uh, but has the, the basic material necessary in it. The screen OS cookbook by O'Reilly Press uh, is a collection of configuration samples. This is not a textbook, uh, but configuration samples. So this can be useful if you want to play around with features in the lab. It provides working sets of features and functions and step-by-step -step instructions on how to create them. So the second part uh, for this module is talking about the ScreenOS certifications. Uh, Juniper has two ScreenOS certifications, the JNCIA and the JNCIS. Uh, those stand for Juniper Networks Certified Internet Associate and Certified Internet Specialist. 
The associate exam is the exam supported by this course. Uh, this course material covers everything that is in the associate level exam. Uh, there are additional courses available for the specialist uh, exam, which has more advanced features. Uh, Juniper certification track here for the JNCIA and for the JNCIS <coughs> is not necessarily a progressive track. You can take the JNCIS without having had the JNCIA, uh, but it is the more advanced of the, of the two exams. These exams, uh, these certifications are granted by passing a multiple choice computer-based exam at the Prometric Testing Centers. You can check the uh, links for this uh, lesson. Uh, there's a download of the outline of what the exam includes and there's links to the Juniper website for uh, how to register for the exam and the exam content and information. So that brings us to the end of this introductory module. If you have uh, questions about any of the material here, feel free to post uh, a public question in the forum that is available for this class, uh, or you can uh, send me a message via the um, links inside the courseware. I look forward to communicating with everyone and working with you on finishing your objectives.